Piloted by his son Kieran, Mr. Hawhey's helicopter dropped out of the morning sky to land in the grounds of St. Joseph's Hospital Cavan. It was for the Fianna Fáil leader the start of a 100-mile whistle-stop tour through two crucial border constituencies, Cavan Monaghan and Loud. To the strains of a now familiar tune, Mr. Hawhey's cavalcade made its way to the town. The skip in his step told all. His welcome here was to be the biggest of the day. <laughs> and overhead, the message from the sky captured the mood of the crowd and of Mr. Hawhey. Can you hear me? Here in this constituency, Cavan Monaghan, we have a tough task. We're looking for three seats out of four as part of our overall national majority. And we get but we're going to get them. From Cavan Town, the Holly Cavalcade made its way through to Hill, Bally Bay, and down to Castle Blaney. During a brief roadside stop between Carried Macross and Dundalk, I spoke with Mr. Hawhey. I first asked him for his reaction to the independent poll. Well, I think from our point of view, it's very satisfactory indeed. Uh, if we were just to take those figures, uh, even as they are at their face value, that would give Fianna Fáil a majority. We believe, however, that the support on the ground for us uh, is much more than that particular poll would seem to indicate. What about the, the, the argument that perhaps Fianna Fáil should have been more positive in selling their particular policy, that they, they haven't told people where they're going to uh, make the cuts? Well, I think people are not interested in cuts at this stage of the campaign. We're quite prepared to leave cuts to the other parties. As far as we're concerned, what this election is about is economic development, growth, employment, tackling unemployment in particular. In our view, that's the main issue. And all over the country, in every constituency, people are, keep coming up to me one after the other and saying, will you, for heaven's sake, get in there, get things started up again, get something done about employment. Will you win? Of course we'll win. At the main shopping centre in Dundalk, Mr. Hobby was met by another crowd of enthusiastic supporters. Here's, here's, here's one of the best ones from Dundalk. So with just two weeks to go, people are confident that the campaign trail is telling them that Charles Hobby will win the majority, which is so far a load of him.